on-target bypassing with TargetLink and the RTI Bypass block set. Bypass model creation with Simulink. This video will show the following information. Project import, initial configuration, bypass controller model setup, building the ECU application, flashing the ECU application. To keep it simple, this video will not describe completely how to build a bypass model from scratch. Instead, it will focus on the relevant RTI bypass blocks and how to set them up in order to use any controller model for on-target bypassing with Target Link. This is the RTI bypass block set library. The model shown in this video incorporates a bare minimum of RTI bypass blocks. Use the setup block to import ECU software, set up bypass interfaces, and configure the build process. The info block summarizes information about hard and software, for example, memory layout and Simulink model data. Use the build block to start the build process of the resulting ECU application. The subsystem block contains the actual bypass controller and is triggered by the configurable interrupt block on the left. First, you have to import the variable description file created by the ECU Interface Manager. It contains information on functions, variables, bypass interfaces, and service calls. Afterwards, you can set the bypass interface that you want to use to internal. This window enables you to configure the build process, including compiler and post-processing options. The interrupt block calls the bypass subsystem. This means you have to assign it to the start service call. which ensures that the bypass function is executed synchronously to the original function. The new emergency brake light controller uses two input and two output variables. An RTI bypass read block is used to synchronously provide input data from the ECU to the controller. In the dialog of the read block, you have to specify a service call that triggers the execution of the block. After that, you can select the variables and parameters to be read. To quickly find variables, start typing the name of the variable. This activates the search function. This particular controller uses the brake pedal position of the car 
to determine whether emergency braking occurs. If this is the case, one of the turn signal variables is evaluated to make the brake lights and turn signals flash alternately. Writing the controller's results back to the ECU is done via an RTI bypass write block, which is configured the same way as RTI bypass read blocks. Additionally, you can use an enable service parameter to toggle the new controller during runtime. The target link function block lets you configure target link specific parameters. Now you can build the bypass controller. When the build process is finished, the MATLAB console displays a summary of the new application's memory usage. Afterwards, you can write the new application to the flash memory of the ECU. In a next step, you can use Control Desk to evaluate the new controller.